DME, our right, boys, let's get into this. North! What? Look at, look at, look at this guy. This guy, this guy is unbelievable, bro. This guy is unbelievable. The biggest diva in battle rap. The biggest diva in battle rap who plays the victim every single time, man. I just, it just, it's just, it's just, it's unbelievable to me how this guy can play the victim every single time. He acts like he acts like he doesn't even understand. Who is that? Jay Legend. Jay, Jay Legend's in the building. What's up, man? What's well, up, Jay? Right. What's going on? Look, they wouldn't even let me do it alone. They wouldn't let me do it alone. No, I'm just playing. What up? Listen, man, that ain't what you really want anyway. What? 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 You 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 don't, you don't want to be on this uh on this blog by yourself, man. Why not? I got I I I I'll dolo everywhere I go. I'll, I'll show up to an event by myself. <laughs> by myself. <clears throat> what up? What's going on, man? What's the, what, 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 uh, what's the, hold on. Am I supposed to just roll over when a guy calls me an asswipe and lies about me and says, oh, I don't even know. I've never, never even heard of the guy. Uh, shut your ass up, man. I'm so sick. I've been lying. And all he you, does is lie. That's all he does is lie. So you are 100% correct. Um, what you want it. My only problem is, and I told you this before, why is it when I got an issue and I say something about somebody, it's all good until you have an issue. We're not turning this into that. But the difference is I am being directly talked to by this guy. You're the one going after other people. They're not responding. I you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. I, I said something that about That was years ago, Jay. Years whoa, ago. Whoa. I, I said something about the same dude that you're talking about. Who? you talking about norms, correct? Okay, what did I ever say to you about that? Hold on, I've made comments about him before, and you like, oh, Jay, oh, no, he's cool. But did oh, Norm directly uh, to, uh, uh, respond to you and sit and call you out? No, but he's, he's made general... Different. Hold on. I, I, again, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm only saying when he's made the comments that he's made, he was disrespecting us as, a, as fans and us as bloggers, no matter which way you want to put it. He was disrespecting the people in his culture, disrespecting customers, us, the consumer of the product. So, so my whole thing is, he's been disrespected. I think I, multiple, a lot of people need to get off this shit. Like, oh, he ain't say my name. Like, no, he's been disrespected. As far as you're concerned, it's only more proof about the lies. Like, he literally said he don't know me, but yeah, he's been commenting on my blogs. All, all this shit, he don't know who you are and all this and all that. Come on, man. Come on, man. He, he blocked me and unblocked me. Yeah, he don't know who I am. Why would you unblock me if you don't know who I am? Like, yeah. come on, bro. And and, the, and listen, my sources, which I'm not revealing because they don't want to be revealed, but they're 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 very credible. All right. I, I know they listen. I know they're credible. Um, they brought I, it to my attention. I didn't go seeking that info. Okay, that's well, the difference. Here's the thing, though. Right, I'm not questioning your sources. Um, I'm not questioning. I know that they're reliable, so I'm not questioning them. What I will say is, can someone debate whether or not you were you you were going to be banned from a place? All right, you want to debate that, whatever the case. What's not debatable is whether or not homeboy knows who you are or not. Like, I, I, think, I think that was some clown shit to do. And then for him to go on, on uh, social media and make the few comments he did, and he ain't even at you and you who he's talking about, it was clear you're who he's talking about. I found that funny, saying that you saying you want attention and all this shit. Like, it's the same dude who does a whole lot of shit for attention. Like, Everything for attention. That this whole gimmick is getting attention. Yeah, he clowns everyone for getting attention now. I, I, listen, the whole band thing is funny to me. I don't even care. My, my thing is, I tried to buy tickets for Summer Man the seven day of, all right? Three separate emails said, I need tickets. What's up? Nobody responded to me. So why are you going to tell me that I'm crazy on this? What, what, you, what you mean when you say, just to clarify, I know what you mean, but to clarify, f clarify for everybody else. When you said the day of, you told me since the day was an um. The day they announced, send us the email so you can buy tickets. Yes. I, was the, I was probably the first one to send the email. Yeah. Right when that trailer dropped, I sent the email. Send an email an hour later. Send an email two hours later. Never even got responses. Then all of a sudden, it's a private event? Come on, man. Come on now. Huh? Was I the reason Summer Madness was private? And then they lied. They lied. You are up. This is why I don't want to talk to you, Norm, because you're a liar. Because you guys lie. You want to know why you lie? This is why they lie. Hold on. I mean, you know why. 
They said, oh, oh, it's a big venue. Oh, it holds 700 or 1,000. Then every single battler after Summer Madness said there was 200 to 150 people there. So you guys are liars. Stop lying, bro. That's all I'm saying. You guys lie a lot too much. I can't, or I can't debate people who have, or are comfortable with lying. All right? That's my problem with it. Yeah, and, and, and again, you have every right to feel that way. I'm with you 100%. I don't like the lying shit, but this is what homeboy does. And then and let's be real about something. Let, let's be real about something. Um, I see him going back and forth with, with uh, well, you already see. I you know, agree with him on that. <laughs> I'm on his, I'm on North side on the whole Rome situation. Is that what you're talking about? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that because I don't, I, I'm, I'm not even fully aware of what was going on with that. What I'm talking about is he came on and said some slick shit talking about had you, talking about you, had you asked him for an interview or something like that to, to explain it or, or uh, to straighten the shit, um, the situation out, um, he would have, he would have obliged you on that. Haven't so you asked him for interviews? Huh? Haven't you asked him for interviews? Um, I've, I've asked him to join us so that we can have a, uh, cause you already know, like I have a lot to ask him and, and, and a lot to point out. According to him, you know, I don't want to go back into the whole shit, but at the end of the day, I have invited him to come on with us. Um, he never answers. Exactly. He, he asks a question for the question so that he don't ever have to answer anything. And um, that's my thing. Like, if, if we were ever to have the opportunity to put him on, like I said, man, he, he won't ever do it. A long time ago, and I explained this before, a long time ago, I know somebody close to him and uh, who who said that they would try to give me an interview. And I'm like, I don't want the interview. At that time, I was like, I don't want it because it's not going to be an interview. He's going to get upset and he's not going to want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was going to look bad on my part because it's like no one at that time, absolutely nobody knew me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and it's only gotten worse since then. And like I said, when it, you know, has the man has something to do with, with good parts of battle rap? Probably so. I just hate that people always ignore that his bad has outweighed his good so much. But because that's norms of U URL, like, fuck out of here, man. Is it a, didn't, didn't you, didn't, I, I don't know the backstory, but you were saying something about when he was going recently with the whole Jesse Rican thing. Didn't he lie on Jesse Rican a lot in that, that recent interview? Um, what, 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 what he did was he didn't, um, I, I'm, I don't want to go as far as say that he really lied. All right. Stuff there that could be dis disputed. My issue with that whole thing with the Jesse Regan situation is that he went and put Jesse Regan's personal business out there that didn't, it, it was unnecessary. Okay, that's even worse to me. Uh, yeah, I agree, but here's the thing. He also mentioned some of Jesse Regan's family, and while he didn't, he didn't, he didn't put them, he didn't say nothing negative about them. He mentioned them in a negative situation that... that they should have never been put out there. He should have never put Jesse's personal business out there. Right. That was some coward shit to try to make a point he didn't have to make. If you want to dispute something he said, dispute it with your facts or with logic. You don't got to sit there and start name dropping and, you know, involving people that don't got shit to do with or anything. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody came out and mentioned one of his family members in the same light, he would have been feeling that way. Like, oh, why you have to bring my family up on this? Right. Well, I mean, it just shows his hypocrisy at all levels. I've noticed it. Um, he can, he loves, he loves to, uh, he always says, well, bloggers looking for attention. First of all, he's a blogger. Is he not a blogger? Yes. Uh, I say this all the time. This Norbs, you're a blogger, bro. All right. <laughs> like, I don't know why you act like you're not. All right. Yo. Like you're, you're tripping and you want more attention. You act, you look for more attention than anybody, bro. And my point in doing that band blog wasn't for attention. It was tongue in cheek. It was fun. I thought it was funny. I know. Listen, I, I, I wasn't told I was banned. I said, I was told y'all don't rock with me and you don't want me there. All right. That I even said that in the blog. I didn't, it wasn't technically banned. All right. I thought it was a fun thing. You know, yeah, to, but he's going off the headline and I ain't gonna lie. It, if that's what it says in the headline, you know, you're going to go off that. Like, yo, I put question it? marks. I put DME banned question mark, question mark. Like, like, you I, know, I agree. I saw it. Right? <laughs> so it's like, um, so, but you said they don't want me there. Then I'll put it together. All right. So I couldn't get a summer madness ticket. All right. That's cool. Then, then I'm hearing this and that's fine. And no big deal. I, and it ain't going to stop me from going. Cause I would love to show up and you guys tell me you don't want me there in my face. That would, I would be, that would be hilarious. All right. That would be funny. And, um, I, I would love, I would love, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to uh, England and then take that chance. All right. But, uh, in New York or wherever. Yeah. I think that would be uh, interesting. Um, but, um, I don't even care about all that. If you don't want me there, you don't rock with me. That's cool. I'm good with that. Just stop lying, bro. Stop lying, man. 
I, I, I hate I hate liars, bro. And, and you're straight up lying. And, and I can't stand it, bro. Norbs can't handle the truth. That's the headline of this blog, by the way. <laughs> That's the title. All right. <laughs> Where's Joel? He said he was going to do a pop up. All right. I don't know. You you know how you think he gonna pop up? Uh, 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 you know he gonna just keep creeping. Did you see Don Marino and um Grandpa and Pat yet? No, nah. no. Nah. Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna tell you. I see the conversations about it, and um, I just wanna. I was gonna talk about it by myself. I don't know if you if if how you feel about addressing it right now. You can address it now. Okay. I'm seeing bits and pieces of uh little tweets that uh that Rome is saying, and I, I saw Cortez responding to him. So I just want to say this, like, I don't I don't know enough. Um, I didn't read enough of this stuff to really understand what it is that uh, Rome was saying. But from, from the stuff that I am seeing, if I had to just respond off of what I'm seeing right now, I would just say, Rome, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh -huh. Just shut the fuck up. Like, I'm not... I'm I'm not gonna go back and forth with nobody with the this in and doing all this and all this, but um first and foremost, you can't come out and be going at Don Marino when uh your client is doing all the shit he's doing. That's number one. Number two, ain't this the same dude who was just apologizing to the community? So I I, I, I'm 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 confused on how we doing that to, to now this. And then the other part is wasn't he just doing Fortnite? I mean, I don't, I don't know what he does anymore. My own thing is, I don't understand his point, man, because he's over here talking. He's saying that, um, oh, so Don Marino can, can make fun of Mexicans and do Mexican bars, and that, everyone laughs and thinks that's great. But imagine a black guy making fun of black people, like about black people's culture. Would we like that? Like, what the, what the fuck are you – what? I, it, it's, just, it's just clear to me that he's just, he's just a little ignorant dude, man, who's young, doesn't really know what he's talking about 90% of the time, man. Yeah, now, now, now here's my thing. Uh, number one, he's he's more talking about the stereotypes, like Don Marino. Don Marino, he's a lot of stereotypes, you know, to be like, oh, oh, imagine if I, like, he had a bar, like, in, in there, uh, uh, I, um, some about being illegal, and um, uh, they if they came to my house, I, I don't know, it was just, like, making fun of how they're illegals. Listen, he, he now, I will say this. In the Don Marino battles that I've seen, he's done that. Now, I understand him doing it again in this, blo in this, uh, situation it was a pg on uh, url it was going to get more eyes on it so on and so forth my only issue that i would say in terms of don marino is i think he's pretty good i hope that he uh we don't see multiple battles where he does that same shit all three rounds right but the well, point he doesn't is, do it all three rounds he has a segment where it's, he calls it mexican bars then yeah, and I don't have, that's why i said I, i'm that, i'm specifically saying i don't want to hear that for three rounds no, it's not three uh, rounds but but overall here's my thing When it comes to Rome, I know Rome be battle rapping himself, right? So who, who who would be anybody to come up to Rome and say he can't rap about stereotypes he think people might use against him? I'll um, give you a step. I don't know Rome. I don't know Rome. I don't know him. If I have to go off of uh, what I've seen of him in the battle rap community, I'm going to tell you right now, this this dude don't look like like he shoot guns or low guns and none of that shit. So, so, should people attack him for that? Right. Now, can, let, let me bring a context to you. The reason why he brought it up, he was actually going on and he was going in on Norms. Him and Norms were beefing about it because he feels like of all the PGs that have been uh, uh, shot in the last six months, he, Norms releases this one instead of, and then he gives a whole list of all these other PGs that haven't come out. Why is Norms showing favor to this battle as opposed to these other ones? That's where it started. Well, here's the thing, because I saw a piece of, of, of uh, that little tweet or whatever the fuck. And uh, what I will give him credit on is saying they might have been some, some PGs better than this one, right, uh, as an overall battle. My thing is, when they be favoring your homeboy or your client and putting him on, on big cards that he don't deserve to be on, are you making the same statement? Exactly. There you go. You Thank you, Jay. I knew you'd make that point. <laughs> like you made that. Exactly. If it's affecting you and, and what you like, then you make a point about it. But when it's not, you're good with it. That's, that's, that's the crazy part. You know? Yeah, man. It's just it's just hypocrisy in the whole situation by both of them, Norbs and Rome, man. They're both they both they both they're, they're one and the same, man. Yeah. Oh no, come on. <laughs> oh no, no, no. They they are one and the same. Trust that. They are one and the same. But what I hate even more is how how they run from me. 
Like he can sit here and say all of that. Go ahead and bring up um his client and, and your thoughts on that, and watch him find a way to duck away from that. He ain't never gonna flat out sit there and and, and say his client is wrong or stuff like that. Well, like, he literally got was was like I can go uh, Don Marino choked. Oh, this is this is what you guys got. What we're talking about choking right now? We're really talking about choking right now. All right. Hello, and then Don Marino came in and recovered and had a great second and third round. Kind of like what Twerk did in that second round and recovered and had a great third round against Averb, right? Same thing, but that was great. Drake loved that. But when Don Marino does it, this is the jokes we have in the PGs. That's what I'm talking about. Be consistent. Listen, and, and again, I'm with you, and I see his conversation with Cortez, and, and uh, you know, he's using horrible examples when he saw the <laughs> He is. And today, it's just my thing, like... You know, this is another reason why we need him to go back to Fortnite. <laughs> uh, he's a battle rapper the rest of us. Uh, he's he battle rap to the rest of us. Like, this ain't for you, man. Just, if you're going to stick around battle rap, then you should just continue to manage your client, man. Well, my thing is, how are, how are, how are, forget about us, forget about, you know, bloggers and this and that. How is Norbs or anyone in, in the URL? Allowing him to even have any kind of input or anything after what he did to Black Compass, bro. He literally has been proven to hack them and delete their YouTube. That's a that should be a uh, you're who should, he should be banned. Why am I banned and he's not banned? Why is Norbs having conversations with him like he's got some kind of input in the, in, in, in anything? Uh, uh, Rome is saying, oh, you guys call me the host PGs and this and that when they were proven. He's proven to have hacked them and have deleted their channel. Why is he still allowed to be involved? Like, this is what this is what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, well, listen. Hit, but again, you're talking about Norbs, though. Like, this is the same dude. He may, he might not. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna go there, man. I'm not gonna go there. I, I got shit to say, man. Can we get you. We need you. I don't want to debate him because I I just get I I I I I need you to you you and Norbs need to have an interview, man. <laughs> no, listen. I'm telling you, he he wouldn't stay there. I don't, he would I don't, get I don't, mad. Don't. He would get mad and leave, or he won't answer nothing. He won't answer anything. I, I guarantee you, he won't do it. Because I will sit there and break shit down to him. They're, both of them, their logic is even flawed. But let me tell you who is really to blame out of all of this shit. The fans. The fans are. You and I are, to a degree. The fans. Because let me tell you something. As long as people, like, people look at, at both these dudes like they some sort of some sort of celebrity or the end or be or battle rap. And you're wrong. You know how many times you could go and see some groupie love on his page from dudes? I know. I see it. I see it. And I'm, like, I'm like, yo, like, wait a minute. Is this what you got to do just to be allowed in the building? That's what I'm saying, man. It's weird. It's <laughs> like, weird. Like, fuck out of here. I would never sit here and feel like I got a cock buffer dude just to be able to, just for him to retweet me or some shit like that. Like, fuck out of here, man. And as far as I'm concerned, these two dudes both, like, if you know him, you know, and, and now we got a, a new show out called Norbs It All, right? Norbs I see, It All I, yeah, podcast, which is, you know, it's not bad when you, it's interviews with uh, battlers, and I, I, I listen to it, and, uh, but. Well, you know, either way, the point that I'm making is he put a tweet out saying, who y'all want me to interview, I, I, I'm willing to talk about anything. That's what he said. So I think everybody should go. I already saw one person do it, but I think a few people should go and tweet him that he should. Let me interview him or him interview me. <laughs> I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Like I said, I, I can't, I, I have an issue with like people that are, that I, I perceive to lie all the time. I don't know how to handle that, uh, that dynamic because I, I just, I just, I can't. And, 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 and I, for, you know me, I don't even like doing interviews. Number one, it wouldn't be an interview. It'd be a fucking face off to me. But uh, uh, um, I, I, you, you, you do interviews, you know, what's up, you know how to handle yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you should be the guy to I just, I can't, can't do it. <laughs> nah, because listen, I'll tell you right now, I don't think it will be much of an interview. Like I said, either he would not want to talk to me, hang up, or he would not answer any questions, beat around the bush like he does now when I tweet him. Uh, <laughs> or the third option is going to be, it'll just end up being a bunch of back and forth yelling, which I don't think it would because I know he's lying already. So, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, here's the thing. Um, Norbs may have, because like, like he tweeted the other day, yesterday, and I responded to him. He said, you know, when's the last time, he said, uh, I don't listen to bloggers, whatever the case, when's the last time y'all did something for somebody else that didn't benefit you or some, some, some weird shit like that he put, right? Yeah. And my, my question to him was, 
So you gonna act like you ain't never all oh, because he said all oh, oh, all y'all do is uh leech um do stuff for yourself and be leeches. So I'm like, like my man, the nerve of you to say that. Ain't this the same dude who wants everybody to do two PGs? Ain't this the same dude who was pissed off at Loso? Did a, a interview on his stomach. You was on your stomach, fam. I'll never forget this. I'm gonna forever remember this. You were on your stomach doing the interview, saying how Loso blew his chance. And I'm pretty sure you was mad that they put him, they gave him his PG on the gnome eight. Now you want some sucker shit with A Ward. Yeah. And, yeah, this is yeah. Him, and he's not the only one he's ever done this with. So you talking about being a leech or doing things, um, doing doing all good for people and all this. My man, we're gonna we're gonna act like your negative hasn't been outweighing your positive. And he's got the power to hurt people's careers. Exactly. Now here's the thing, because what you just said, I have a lot of questions and comments, right? With that. So I won't talk about it right now because I want to save that for the day that I actually get to talk to him. <laughs> because I got a few aces in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. And it's like, you know, but again, I, like, I think, I think off, off, off um, some of the tweets I sent to him in general, I think he understands that, you know what I mean? I think he gets a sense of things and he won't ever do it. But uh, like I said, I'm welcome to all the people who ever watching. If you ever want to see that sort of thing happen, Go ahead and tweet Norbs and tell him that he should join a union blog or let me interview him solo, whichever way. Uh, you know, he's more than welcome. <laughs> I invited him yesterday. I, I got no response. Typical. He said he wanted an example of what I was getting at. I said, sure. You know, why don't you join us? He didn't join us. Okay. And what yeah, yeah. I remember I think I was telling you you should have gave him an example, but you are talking about just doing an interview. All right, I got you. Yeah, because he was the thing. I didn't want to give him an example. He just wasn't going to... I didn't want to tweet him an example right. that he was able to just ignore. Makes sense, sir. And then after he ignores that, he knows he should forever stay away from doing an interview with me because he knows the direction I'm going to go into. So I'm not going to show him my hand. You understand? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait till I get the opportunity to speak to him or, inter you know, how, however it goes so that I, I, I'm never going to, I'm never going to tip my hand. So yesterday, I was going to talk a little bit. I was going to give my little petty example. But um, we was on that live for like an hour, 20 minutes. Um, the setup took even longer than that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> by, by the time all of that happened, we already had been around almost two hours. And, uh, you know, my family was coming home. And as always, like, once they come home, it's, it's, ain't, it's no peaceful blogs. It's noise everywhere. It's, you know what I mean? Uh, not to mention I had to cook for the kids. So I didn't have the time. But I was going to give a petty example. But what I really want on any day is for him to, I would like him to join the union. And the reason why is because you guys can sit back for a second, see where I'm going with this. And if you think he's eluding me a little bit, you guys could cut, cut the ring off on him too. You know what I'm saying? No, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. It's never, and I want to be clear. It's not about, I don't want to have an interview bashing norms. I don't do blogs bashing norms. When I, whenever you see me in a blog talking about it, I'm knocking down the, his actions and his comments. Right. I've had people tell me, yo, Norbs is actually a cool guy, just sometimes he does foul stuff. That's what I hear all the time, and some oh, it's the trolling. He's just trolling. Well, like, okay, so when I'm trolling, you get, you get, you get, you act a certain way, but. Yeah, but, but here's, my, here's my thing, though. Is it all trolling when there is a lot of negative shit that's been put out there about you throughout the years? And is it so, trolling when you actually affect people's careers? No, but that's what it's about, dear me. I just don't like to go too much in that direction. Like I said, I'm not going to give him, I'm not going to let him, you know, you know, I don't want to, to say too much that's going to give him all he needs to know because then he's going to forever duck the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I would like, he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't coming on. I, I would love for him to come on and just have a conversation. I'm not going to be yelling at him. It would be I'm respectful. Not, very respectful. As long as he keeps it that way, yeah. But, um. Well, yeah, that's 100% sure. As long as he gives <laughs> But, but even more so for me is I want to give him an opportunity to answer. Because here's the thing. He might have a logical explanation for some of the stuff he do, and we just don't really know it. So if someone was saying things about me and you was coming to con confront me about it, you know, as long as you come up to me respectful, I'm going to treat you with respect. And, 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 and we can talk about certain things. Now, I'll be upfront and honest. If there was things that I felt is none of your business, I'm going to tell you that. And then it's up for the rest of the world to decipher, you know, what, what does that mean? You know what I mean? Well, you know so, what he's going to say? He's going to say, well, we're cloud chasing. We're just we're looking for attention. You know, that's, that's how he always goes that route. Well, cloud, let me tell you something, man. 
let me tell you something. Norbs walks into a battle rap venue and he's created a space where he feels like battle rap has to go through him. That's how he feels when he walks through a venue. Right. When I walk through the streets, I get a whole different kind of respect. So I don't give a fuck about no clout chasing. I don't care about none of that shit. Like, I ain't gonna go through all that, but I've been to some of the most worst of the worst places, prisons and all of that, and walked through with my head up and got the respect from, from, from gorillas, like my man Mav say. I solidified my spot with gorillas. I don't give a fuck about no clout chasing any. If that was the case, why is it none of us do TMZ style blogs? I mean, look, look, I think it's too, I think, I, I think it's, just, it's, it's, it's a fallback. He uses all the time. Uh, you know, all you guys got to do, if you don't believe me, just type in Norbs and bloggers and YouTube and then go watch them. All right. The, the yeah. amount of disrespect, the, the, amount of, the way he calls us out, he calls us out our names, calls us bitches and losers and, and clout chasers and people with no lives. And we're just in loo- like, and, and he's, he's just, he's, he's talking about everybody in a, in a general blanket. All right. And then when, when, when some of us losers respond, all right, then he's like, oh, we're clout chasing and we, we, we want attention. Like, you can't have it both ways, bro. Like, yeah, but, but, but even more, DME, because you're right on what you're saying, but my frustration out of all of that is more when he makes, generalizes it and extends it to fans as well. Oh, yeah, the fans are trash. Yeah, oh, my oh, God. Because he will go in on a rant on how how the fans ain't shit, so on and so forth, right? They're cheap, they're boot, all bootleggers, nobody pays for nothing. Come on, man. Yeah, he would disrespect the fans, but he's the same fans who support whatever it is he do. And then he'll be like, well, yeah. I'm not talking to those fans. I'm talking about, bro, how, you can't just distinguish it like that. Like, like, yeah. like you can't just be like, oh, they're all fans. But, but if you're not one of those guys, I'm not talking to you. Like, come on, man. Like, you're being ridiculous, man. So we could do that for any situation, DME. You could, do that. You, you, you could do that in your everyday life. You run a business. You could come out and say stuff like that any day to go along with what it is you're saying. Imagine if I was like, all my customers are cheap, they're losers, they don't tip, da 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 Well, I do, I'm not talking to you, obviously. You know, you wouldn't do that, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't, you can't do that. But even more is, ain't this the same dude who calls himself uh, the voice of battle rap? And apparently he's a street star. <laughs> I, wanna, I still wanna know where the street star came from, but I, I'm not even gonna go there, man. <laughs> I mean, don't take me down these paths, dear me. I just don't know. Don't take me down these paths. What up, dog? All right, that was the Jay Legend. Which, <laughs> that was Jay Legend chiming in on the whole situation. Norbs, you can't handle the truth. Now, here's the deal. You say you don't know who I, I look like. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's cool. That's cool. You call me an ass white. That's cool. That's cool. You say I'm not banned. That's cool. Even though I couldn't get, I couldn't get a ticket to Summer Madness, and then you guys made it a private event. You lied about how many people that venue can fit. You lied about how many people were there. It was a... Uh, 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 um, uh, shown to be a lie by every single battle that was there that did an interview, every single one that did an interview. So there was 150 to 200 people there. Yet you guys still claim, even live on that pay-per-view, that there were 700 people there. You guys, you're a liar, bro. You guys are liars. You're liars. That's always going to be my problem with people when you lie. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with people who lie. You lie. If you lie and you lie and you constantly lie, bro, there's no, I don't know when you're telling the truth. I don't know when you're trolling. I don't know when you're not trolling. All right. All right. So listen, bro, whatever, bro, get a life. All right. Like, I'm just, I'm tired of you running your mouth, and then when people shoot back at you, you can't handle it. You can't handle it, all right? Like, you need to look at, you really need to look in the mirror, bro, and figure out what, what, what's up with you, bro. What's up with you, bro? All right, because, you know, you seem like a cool dude. I'm everyone who talks about you. Yeah, no, he's cool. He talked to him. He's cool, 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 cool. Then, then, then what's the problem? Like, literally, what's the problem? Stop generalizing, all right? And last thing, you're a blogger. You are a blogger. <laughs>